More than five hours of Republican battle cries echoed across Bud Day Field today. Former President Donald Trump headlining a GOP rally at Sioux Gateway Airport just five days ahead of the midterm elections. It's our top story tonight at 10. Trump touched down shortly after 7 o'clock tonight and greeted a crowd estimated at several hundred. But before he arrived, a long line of GOP candidates and party leaders wasted no time firing up the folks who'd been in line since early this morning. Governor Reynolds and U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley both seeking another term among those to speak. Once Trump did take the stage, he hammered away on what he called failed Democratic policies. The former president encouraged voters to get out and vote on November 8th and sign up to be a poll worker, predicting the midterms would swing the Republican way. This is the year we're going to take back the House, we're going to take back the Senate, we're going to take back America, and in 2024, most importantly, we are going to take back our magnificent White House, right? We're going to take it back. Trump also telling the crowd that Iowa this year had the most, quote, fiscally responsible governor in the country. Governor Kim Reynolds took the stage citing those numbers. Our fiscal health is strong. After historic investments and priorities that are important to Iowans and cutting taxes, we still ended with a $1.9 billion surplus cash reserves full and $2 billion in our taxpayer trust fund. We're cutting taxes. A surprise guest speaker at the event, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene from Georgia and candidate for Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd also speaking to that crowd this evening.